Hi there everybody. I'm going to do a screen share for you on how to use the free application Voice Dream Lite as an active reading tool. So I'm going to share my iPad with you now. So you can see that Voice Dream Lite is this application here with the L on the side with the profile of the person. And as I open it up, I have a library of things that I've already used on there. If I want to open something new up, I tap on this plus sign. And what I'm going to show you right now is how to get something from a web browser. So I have already copy and pasted the link from our previous reading from last Thursday. And I'm going to paste it on there. And I'm going to tap on the go button. So what it's doing now is it pulled up the actual online article, and you can also do a Google search through actually VoiceStream to find anything that you need to read. I'm going to tap on this upload button here, and I'm going to tap on something called Smart Save. What this does is it extracts the actual text that you're supposed to be reading within the article, and it places it into your library. So you can see how it says web page saved, and you can see in the background that I've got watering the roots right in the back here. So I know that it worked. Once I tap OK, then I'm going to tap Done, and I can go right back and click on the actual text. So now you can see here that I have the text on here. VoiceDream essentially is a text-to-speech engine, so what that means is that it will read it aloud for you. So if I tap on this play button down here... Watering the roots of knowledge through collaborative learning. Education. You don't need to use that tool. I find it really helpful that I listen to it either when I'm walking or when I'm driving. If I tap on this little voice feature here, I can actually change the different voices that I have, how fast it goes, and how slow. If I tap on the A's, I can actually change what text I'm using. So I can pick the different text. I can also change the size if I want it to be a little bit bigger. For right now, for the use of this, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I can also change my color theme if I want to. I'm going to change my highlight color right now so that you can see when I highlight something. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. What I really like about this program is that it allows me, when I hold my finger down on a word, you can see that I get this option here. So I can define the word, I can highlight it. So that just means that it's something important. So let's say I can highlight the main idea or important aspects of the article. What I can also do in addition to highlight is that I can write in a note. So as I'm reading, I can say, this is important. Or I can say something like, why is the origin discussed. So in terms of our class, I can actually embed the questions that I want to ask if I'm in the discussion group right here. And I can tap save. So you can see that the difference between the highlights and the notes are the little sticky note here. If I tap on the sticky note, I can actually listen this to my is important. note. Why is the origin discussed? And I can tap save. My favorite part of this entire app is this little upload button here again, or the sharing button. So when I tap there, I can export all of my highlights, and it allows me to export it into something. Right now, I'm going to actually export it into pages. So I can use this a lot if I have to quote text within an English assignment, or if I need to, oh, I need an update or if I need to do anything else, or if I just want to study and I know that I've highlighted the important parts of a chapter. So now you can see that it gives me the title of the article and it tells me exactly where. Now depending on what you upload, it'll say percentage wise or it'll say page number on where you've actually highlighted. So these are the things that I've highlighted and you can see that it includes my notes. So this allows me to really actively read and interact with text. What you can also do the final thing I want to show you in VoiceStream is that you can upload a PDF. 
We've got the light version, so it is going to ask you for things all the time. So I'm actually going to enable my Google Drive and show you how to do this. I'm going to sign into our class Google Drive. Oops. 159N. And then it's going to ask me, can I allow Voice Dream to access everything? I'm going to tap Accept. And now it's enabled, which is done. So when I tap on this plus symbol again, it's going to give me the option for Google Drive. So what I can do now is you can see that we have all of the readings posted on our classroom website. Oops or we have some of the readings. <laughs> so you can see here, if I have a PDF that is posted on a Google Drive or really anything, I can <clears throat> tap on it, it'll download it, taking a little while to download. You'll know when it's done because it's going to pop up on the side here. So I should be able to see what is collaborative learning. The PDFs take a little while longer because they're converting them from image into text so that they can be manipulated and highlighted and read to you. So these might take a little bit longer, but it's well worth it in the long run. Nope, taking a little longer than expected. Let's hit cancel here and let's try something that's a smaller one. I apologize for my internet connection. Let's go back here. There we go. So that one worked. <laughs> Tap done. So what this has now is it actually gave us the PDF. And same thing. What I can do here is I can go through and I can highlight information and I can add in notes. So I highly encourage you to try Voice Dream out. It's an amazing application. I use it all the time. So if anyone has any questions about anything, please feel free to email Bo or I. And good luck exploring some active reading tools. There are some other ones called Claro PDF, which is um, there is a free version that allows you to kind of annotate on PDFs as well. That one lets you highlight and actually draw on them if you wanted to try those out. So good luck.